G'day, I'm Dave Robertson, and this is your Ottawa Real Estate Market Update for January 2018. Well, this past year, 2017, if we do a quick look and review, 2017 was a big year for the Ottawa Real Estate Board. Uh, if we look at the month of December, we sold a total of 771 units on the multiple listing service, which is more than our 2016 number. That's up by 8.4%. And if we look at year over year, uh, the average uh, number of, sorry, the number of transactions was just over 17,000 for 2017 compared to 2016 of 15,500-ish. And that's an increase of 10%. So a lot more transactions taking place through the year of 2017 as compared to 2016 or even other years before it. If we look at how does that translate into price, well, we saw residential prices, uh, an average of $425,000, that's up almost 7%, and condos are up just under $270,000, or 3.4% increase over last year. And so uh, I would say the 2017 was characterized by high demand, lots of transactions taking place. We had a shrinking amount of supply and every month it seemed like our inventory pool was lower and lower and lower to where we are today we have very low inventory I believe that there's still a lot of demand out there a lot of shoppers looking for that right home that still haven't found it I think that momentum is going to continue uh, throughout this year and as we move into the springtime so I'm going to ask I'm going to predict it's going to remain more of a seller's market and I'm not the only one thinking bullish on the auto real estate market. If we look at, uh, this is the Canadian Mortgage Housing Corporation uh, and their report that just came out regarding their new housing starts. And so these are builders who have applied to build new construction uh, homes or apartments in the coming year. And why would they be doing that? Because they think Ottawa is a hot market and it's an opportunity for them to make a good profit. That demand will stay high and that they would have profitable uh, op opportunities with new construction builds. So uh, it shows here in this report that t it's the highest level since 2009 for new housing starts. And that just shows, again, the builders are thinking bullish on this market as well. And then other analysts are saying the same thing, that the Ottawa real estate market is the one to look out for heading into 2018. And, uh, you know, Toronto, Vancouver, other Canadian cities, uh, they've had their upswings and uh, now they're starting to cool off. But uh, a lot of analysts are expecting Ottawa to be the next hot market. Now, what do I think of all this? I think it's going to be still a strong market. I think it'll be more of a seller's market in 2018. I don't anticipate in, uh, inventory going up quickly again. It'll be take some time for the housing starts to translate into new listings. So there's a, a lag on that. Um, I don't think the new mortgage change rules that came into effect January 1st will have a huge impact. Um, but I also don't think it's going to go crazy like Toronto did in past years. I think we're going to continue to see stable uh, pr in price increases across the board. Uh, residential in particular, condo will see. Condo has been lagging more than residential units. Uh, so I think it's going to be a great year if you're a homeowner that you're going to anticipate you can anticipate some appreciation in the value of your home. If you're a buyer, it may there may be challenges to find that right home or to get the, a, a great deal on the next home purchase. So whether you're thinking about buying or selling, I encourage you to reach out, talk to me. We'll set up a quick meeting together and put a plan in place to make sure your next move goes as smoothly as possible and that you get the best deal possible. Thanks so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up. And until next time, I'm Dave Robertson, your real estate professional for life.